What's going on, Travel House? Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I hope everyone's having a great time. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story about my father. Unfortunately, he passed on, but I want to give him all of the props today. He was an outstanding father. As I told you guys, my father was the one who got me into travel, getting me a lot of Nat Geo books when I was young, various articles. So the first trip overseas was to Paris, France. So I was excited, but I remember I'm like, ah, but you know, I can kick it with my friends for a while. You know, being a little ignorant at the time, you know, I must admit it, it is what it is. Fast forward, we go to Paris, France, you know, so I'm starting to enjoy myself for going to all the sites, the Arte Triomphe, the saint Elysees, and of course the famous Eiffel Tower. And you know, and we went to go get some food and I remember I wanted a burger at the time. And I vividly remember, you know, it not having a bun. You know, once again, one of those ignorant moments. My dad said, son, you have to enjoy the moment and enjoy the culture. You know, this is how they eat them. It's not always with a hamburger bun like in America. There was a slice of lettuce, a slice of tomato, and a knife and fork. So I said, okay, well, let me eat that, you know, let me try something different. But slowly and surely, as the trip went along, I got used to trying different things and immersing myself in the culture of France. And at the time, the World Cup was going on, so it was very big. And I played soccer growing up, or to Europeans, South Americans, and everybody else in the world, football. It was France who was about to play Brazil in the World Cup final that summer. And I remembered everybody was in the streets and we were enjoying the trip. And as the final came up, I just remember, you know what, uh, looks like France might win this thing. Dad said, yeah, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna see who wins. And France won the World Cup final three to nothing against Brazil. They're known for being great. So, so was France. And i would never forget, there were so many people in the streets, whether it was men to women, old, young, doctors to waste collectors, it didn't matter what your profession was. Everybody was celebrating under one common theme. And that was the French team, which was one of the most incredible things I had ever seen. I remember my dad said, take a look at all of this. No cell phones at the time. And I looked and I said, wow. He said, what do you think? He said, dad, this is the most incredible thing I had ever seen. And I thanked him for that moment because I had never seen anything like that. And of course, everything else that I saw in Paris at the time. So I say all that to say, thank you, dad, for all the wonderful memories and everything you instilled into me because without you, you know, I don't know if I would be traveling the world uh, the way that I am and, you know, trying to teach so many people about various places, cultures, and respecting each other, as well as yourself. So I just wanna, you know, give a shout out to all the fathers out there. Once again, happy Father's Day. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself and a special happy Father's Day to my dad, wherever you are. Hope your soul is at peace and you are enjoying yourself with mom. My mother passed away, unfortunately, too. Um, I love you guys. You have been a huge inspiration to me and I just wanna tell you that I miss you. I think about you guys all the time. But uh, once again, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Take care, Travel House. See you next time.